Hello, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be notified of new uploads. This video is part of a playlist called SQL Developer Tips, and you're looking at SQL Developer, which is the IDE of Oracle Database. Uh, when you download and install the Oracle Database software, this comes um, bundled with it. Okay, so these are just some of the tips you can use when you are using SQL Developer. So here we'll be learning how to use the autocomplete feature of SQL Developer. I am using the term autocomplete for the lack of a better word, but because I don't know what it's called in SQL Developer, but I've been using it for years and years. And I just wanted to share it with you. Um, if you have started using SQL Developer, um, if you have used it for a while, I'm sure you have noticed that feature already. Okay, so this feature is very useful in two scenarios. One is when you don't know the exact table name or column name. The other is when you just wanted to save your effort. You mean, I mean, uh, do less typing. Okay, so if either of those two, it could be a good reason to do, to make use of this feature of SQL Developer. Okay, let's just start. So let's just say you wanted to query uh, a table called loan something, but you do not remember the whole thing. You just know it starts with loan something and then you type, and then when you type those first few letters, then the Oracle developer, I mean, SQL developer will prompt you a hint, uh, like an autocomplete. So you can double click on that if that's the one you need. If you have a couple, uh, several of them, then you can just double click the right one you have need, okay? And then you can, uh, put your terminator, which is a semicolon, and then you can execute this query using either uh, this play button, this is to script, this is for a script. Either you use this, click this uh, button, or you can also do control enter. If you point your mouse at the play button here, it shows you the combination key be, that you could be using, which is control enter. So you can do a control enter, that's the same thing. So we've seen the first example of how the autocomplete feature can be used in SQL Developer, okay? We only typed partially, I mean, part of the table name, okay? So now maybe we wanted to query specific columns of the table because right now our select statement is using an asterisk. When you do select asterisk, asterisk what it means is that uh, you're trying to query all the columns of the table, okay, all the columns, not, not all the rows, but all the columns. Meaning here, in this table, you have one, two, three, four, five columns. So you're trying to query all the columns of the table. Now, if you wanted to uh, specifically query certain columns, then you can also do that. First thing is to uh, remove or delete the asterisk. And then again, trying to make use of the autocomplete feature, you can type the first few letters of the column you have in mind. Let's just say you're thinking of policy number. So I can type policy, you can see, you just start typing a few of the letters and then it already shows you the matching ones. Okay, so the others definitely they don't, they're not the ones I need, but I need this one called policy number. So I will double click on that. Okay, and then you can proceed to execute the query again by typing the key combination of control enter. Okay, so again, if you wanted to add some other uh, columns to this query, you can do so. Okay, let's just say uh, you also, let's just say you forgot actually the column name. You can just type on comma and then it already gives you a hint of what columns to uh, use. So I can just maybe click on this, double click, and then again proceed to uh, execute the query. Okay, same thing. If you wanted to add a where clause to this, I can just remove the terminating semicolon and then I will add my where condition. I will say stay where. And again, if I don't even know the column to use, I can just, you see, once you type where, nothing happens, but once you type an extra space, then SQL Developer is smart enough to give you a hint of 
uh, what columns you might want to use. In fact, you can use any of the columns available to the table, okay? So when I type on the space, it gives me a list of the columns, okay? I can just say, double click on the one I need, which is maybe loan balance. And then I will say uh, greater than 1,500, something like that, semicolon, and then you can enter. I mean, control enter, okay? Same thing, uh, maybe if I wanted to add an order by to this, then I can do so, order by, order by. So, and then I will uh, specify the column again. Again, I do not know what column to use. So what I will do is after the word by, I will type space. And again, it will be prompting me to uh, for the list of columns which I can use, okay? So I can probably use the date payment due date. I will double click on that and then end this with a semicolon and then execute the query again, okay? So as you can see, um, in just one sweeping select statement, we were able to show you the different instances wherein we could uh, leverage on the autocomplete feature of SQL Developer. And again, there are two scenarios why you might want to use this one is uh, you really do not know the column name or table name. And the other is that you're just trying to save up on your the, the effort of typing, okay? So uh, there you go. And I hope you've learned something new from this video, uh, which is delving into the use of the autocomplete feature of SQL Developer, okay? If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and spread the word. I will be seeing you in the next video.